What's up, guys? Welcome into the PNC Bank Sports Corner. I'm Courtney Cox, and here at Nesson, we're celebrating Pride Month, and I'm joined now by an LGBTQ icon in the sports world, Harrison Brown. Harrison, thanks so much for taking the time to hop on and talk with me. Great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, well, you became the first openly transgender athlete in pro sports, a feat I can't even begin to imagine. At the time, looking back on it, did you understand how monumental that would be? No, I had I had no idea. I was really only doing it for myself to feel comfortable, to feel as authentic as I wanted to be in my sport. Um, but the the way that people grabbed onto my story and just like the amount of feedback that I had, the amount of DMs in my Instagram and Twitter from kids saying like seeing me play my sport inspired them to keep playing their sport. It was something that was absolutely unbelievable. Well, even on a personal level, I know I read something that your grandmother called you uh, and left a voicemail for you. Can you explain that to people that may not have read it about it? Yeah, uh, that was absolutely incredible. Um, I had come out. Um, before I had come out, I didn't really tell a lot of people that were in my immediate family. Some, most people actually found out through articles that they read on, on the internet. And my local newspaper published a story on me, and that's how my grandma found out that I was transgender. Um, I wasn't sure how she would respond. I didn't think anything that she would respond negatively, but she called me right away and, and addressed me right away as Harrison. Like, hi, Harrison. I read your article in the newspaper. I just want to say I completely support you and I'm 100% behind you. And it's it still gives me goosebumps. I'm so glad that I didn't pick up the phone because I have that voice now. Now I can listen to it forever. Well, a New England connection here. You transferred to Maine when you were in college. And from reading your story, it seems like your teammates, the school in general, were pretty supportive of you, as were your teammates, coaches, fans when you were with the Buttes. How important was it having that support? And were you surprised at all? Yeah, having having the support of of my teammates. My teammates were the first people that I came out to. I actually came out uh, to my teammates at the University of Maine. So I came out at Maine. So it's always a special place in my heart. Um, but having their support because I didn't always have the familial support that I that I needed. Um, but to have my second family, my my teammates, my coaches, uh, the, at the leagues that I was in, uh, Hockey East was very very supportive of me. Uh, the NWHL was extremely supportive of me. So having that support, yeah, it was, um, I, I'm not sure if I would be where I am today without them. After you made your, your announcement, you became public about being transgender and, and you scored a goal in that game. And they said his first goal of the season, I believe. I don't want to misquote, but that moment must have been so important to you to show that you have the support system behind you. Yeah, yeah. When people ask me about my 15 year career, what is that? Fa what is your favorite moment? What's the moment that you will always cherish? That goal is is the exact moment I spent. Up until that time, I spent many, many years over a decade playing as somebody that I wasn't. And hockey was always my my safe space. It was always my place where I could feel like I could be myself. Uh, but I always had that mask of having the wrong name. As I kept going with the sport and as I kept playing. Um, that disconnect started to get a little bit, get heavier and heavier each each year. Um, so it was a really dark time for me uh, up until I was able to finally be called Harrison and take that mask off and just be able to have my personal life and my hockey life completely align. It was, uh, it was an unbelievable moment, absolutely. Well, like I mentioned, this interview is a part of Nesson's initiative to celebrate Pride Month. For you personally, what does it mean to you that more sports organizations, whether it be leagues, teams, networks, uh, are actively promoting and celebrating diversity in all forms. Yeah, I think I think it's it's extremely important for leagues, for the NHL um, to have pride nights and to have hockey is for everybody. Because in today's day, uh, there is a lot of inclusion, but there's actually a lot of pushback right now, especially there's a lot of transgender bands for high school kids that want to play sports. There's a lot of a lot of legislation going out to bar transgender people from inclusion. So it's really important for sports to really band together and to really support the LGBTQ plus community, whether it's the athletes, whether it's the fans, whether it's coaches, anybody that's involved in the sport. Sports can have a really big influence on society as a whole. And I think that when sports teams and sports organizations can really just stand for equality, stand for diversity, stand for inclusion for, for everybody, I think it's, it has a really big trickle down effect to the world overall. 
Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us, but even more so, I mean, you helping make this world a better, more welcome place. Uh, it's definitely something that should be celebrated, not just during Pride Month, but all year long. Thank you. I really appreciate it.